Alrighty, so today I received something in the mail that I ordered about a month and a half ago and it just came in today. I ordered this from China and this is going to be an interesting one to see and test out due to its nature. Alright, let's just get to it. Let's unbox this. Now this cost me $40 by the way. $40 for this tool. Yeah, this box is beat up and look at that. Yeah, this doesn't look like a tool I already have. All right, so what we have here is a 100% knockoff of Makita's uh, impact driver. Model number XWT11. All right, so this is Makita's. Now straight out of the bat, this is, you can tell there is a significant difference in weight between the Makita and the knockoff. This one is extremely lighter, and you can tell that it's not nearly as heavy at the base. The base feels extremely light compared to the, uh, the Makita. So there is no model number, there is no specs, there is no nothing on this. Supposedly it runs on Makita batteries, so we are going to test this out right now and see what this can do. And the, the housing for the anvil is metal, but it feels galvanized when the Makita feels it has a much uh, uh, smoother finish than the knockoff version does. So uh, let's grab some... Uh, Makita batteries and see how this acts and do a little versus video. Let's do a little close up on what these two actually look like side by side together. Uh, the design is pretty much the exact same. There are a little differences between the two like the Makita. The Makita right here has a, this little indentation in between the, the grooves. And on this, it does not. This is just smooth right here. The back, obviously you can see that they uh, went cheap on the rubber molding and they turned that into plastic and you cannot take the back off like you could on the Makita. So instead the, it's just on the side with the clamshell to hold it together and it, they both do have the plastic covering for their housing of the anvil. And so yes, uh, and they both do have this uh, clear frosted rubber piece that's very flexible and so yes and this one does have speed selection on it oh once we get a battery on there we'll see if that lights up you know uh this one has it too a speed selection but let's uh oh no bell clip by the way this did not at least i don't think it did it's all right i'm pretty sure it's the exact same or you can't even put nope it's just holes yeah there are no threads to where the belt clip goes. It's just a hole. It goes to the other side. Alrighty, so let's grab some batteries. Alrighty, so what I have here in my Makita bag is a couple of threes and a couple and a two. So so far for the Makita, I only have three batteries, which I have one two and I have two threes. Alright, so let's just flat out see if a Makita battery even works in here. And even fits. Yes, it does. Light works. All right, their speed settings. That is small. <laughs> their speed setting goes to goes from small to large, instead of high, uh, low to high. Let's see if I could zoom in on, focus in on that. Not sure if you can see that. But that is low, that's high, uh, that's large, and that's small. It goes from small to large. From the sound of it, it doesn't sound too promising. I can't tell if it's brushless. All right, let's put a three amp hour in the the actual Makita. Yeah, what a difference in sound. All 
All right, but we are gonna see what the difference in performance is in between these guys. Alrighty, so we are gonna start with the knockoff first. We are gonna see if it's capable of putting in a four and a half inch lag into the piece of wood. Now, we are using Tag Life Impact Rated Sockets for this. So let's see what this can do. We are gonna do this right, right here. All right, this is a four and a half inch. All right, so <laughs> ready, go. It seemed to do it pretty well. It actually drove it in a little past the, the line. And I guess you could only adjust it for when you activate it. You can't push the button by itself. You actually have to pull the trigger, then adjust it. I have one more four and a half inch right here. We are going to see what small, what small means. Let's see what the difference is between large and small. All right, so ready, go. All right, that's majorly skipping. I, I think it needs uh, to be on large. Wait, what does that mean? There we go. All right, let's see. Ready, go. All right, pretty much done, yeah. Alrighty, what's the battery life on this set? Battery life is still full. Alright, but this seemed to be, do, it seemed to do okay. It even says LXT right here. It even says LXT right there, look at that. Does it say, yep, it even says it on this too. LXT. Alrighty, so let's take these out. Let's see what this actually is. Go. Ooh, we can't take it out. Ready, go. All right, let's try small. Ready, go. Nope. It blinks that little light at the side. It blinks that. So now you can't switch this over to, it only goes off and on. And I tried both. Which it cannot do. Let's try the Makita and see if it's capable of taking those out. Now we are gonna do speed high. All right, so ready? That's one. And two. All right. So we are going to see how long this takes to do some timber lock screws. Obviously, fill it at a four and a half inch lag. Let's see what this can do with some timber lock screws. Safety glasses back on. All right, so ready? Go. Oh wait, that's, yeah, there we go. Now it's on large, don't worry. <laughs> it's on large. Ready, go. Time. Let's do another one. 
All right, so ready, go. Time. All righty, what's the battery life at? Battery life is at three bars. All right, so let's take these off. We're gonna do one, which I this is at this is at small. You cannot adjust the speed on uh, in reverse. All right, so ready. Yep. All right, so ready, go. Oh, wrong way. Ready, go. Time. All right, so let's see what that auto stop does. It's on. All right, so ready, go. Oh, did it. All right. All right, so I guess what auto stop does, it stops the, the screw from spinning after it's out. Let's give that, let's give that one more shot. Let's give that one more shot. That's actually pretty interesting. I did not know that. All right, so we are in reverse. We have auto stop on. All right, so now this should stop by itself when it's done unscrewing itself. All right, so ready, go. Is it out? No, it is not. It's a little bit, little bit off. Let's do another one. Is that out? Not yet. All right, I'm not sure if you can see. Let's zoom out. My finger is still pulled. Let's do it one more time. Yes, it did. See, as you can see, my finger is still pulled, still pulling the trigger. So the automatic shut off did work when the screw came out, but it prematurely fired about a, a turn and a half. But there you go. This was a $45, uh, no, a $40 impact driver that looks and f almost feels and it works with Makita batteries like a Makita. So, yeah, that's the auto shut off right there. Turn that off. There you go. Put that in forward. That is on, that, 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 blow, that blows my mind. Speeds small and large. Small and large, that blows my mind. I mean, look at that. It's pretty much almost identical. Give an example. This little extra patch right here. It's that's Makita. There is none right here. The design of this is pretty much the same, except it's a little bit thinner at the end for the knockoff uh, LXT. It doesn't have the sticker. Other side, and yes, because as you can see on the on this, there is no, th there are no threads in there. That's just a flat out open space. So clips, uh, belt clips will not work on this. Yeah, it's much cheaper version. You could feel that it's cheaper, but it, it, it doesn't feel that, that bad. You know, the, the, they totally messed up on the molding out right here. They totally messed up on this molding. I'm gonna look at that job. That's that's terrible. And if you compare that to the Makita, which is much smoother, so yeah. Obviously the Makita is much more designed. But I ordered this a month and a half ago. I just got it in today. So I just wanted to do a, a quick demonstration and review on it. We will be using this in versus videos just because it's fun. You got to add a little Chinesium into the action and so I just did. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this video really quick. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.